Hey babe, today is a crappy day, which is why I'm recording this in bed, not using my gimbal. Well, I'm not using my gimbal because I'm pretty sure it broke. So, you know, perfect theme for the crappiness of today. So, all right, let's see. It started with Aaron not showing up to the recording session for our OnlyFans channel. And it still sounds weird to say that. So I'm like, oh, okay, I guess something came up. And he got busy, like, it's cool, I'm just going to wait, he's going to message me when he's ready, and we'll hop on. And then he just doesn't message me, so I send him a message like, hey, is everything okay? And no response, so I'm like, oh, okay, great, whatever, like, if it's not meant to happen, it's not meant to happen, I get that stuff happens sometimes. So, as I'm waiting, at some point I check my email, I'm like, oh, cool, I just got an email confirmation following the interview that I had yesterday saying that I'm being invited to a hiring session or live event that they're holding. So, basically, from what I understand, I show up at that event and there's going to be some sort of interview question. I have no clue how it works. And after that, they're going to decide if they want to hire me or not, from what I understand. So that was kind of the only good thing that happened today. After that, I'm like, oh, okay, cool. I have to get my driver's record or whatever for the past five years and submit that to make sure. And a few other stuff. So I go ahead, I Google how to do that, go on the website, try to do it. And it doesn't work for some reason because the internet is not working and the site just won't load. So I'm like, okay. So I contact the person in charge of the apartment on Airbnb saying there's an issue and everything. And then eventually it turns out that the internet here is just very, very, very slow and very, very, very crappy. So I have no clue how I'm gonna be able to access the website to be able to download my driving record, but that's a problem for another day. Aside from that, pretty much the entire day, um, cause okay, uh, Maggie, you know, the girl I was supposed to marry. <laughs> and one of the reasons why I decided to stay here for a month uh, she's been doing a school project for the last few days and she's been trying to finish it because once she's done, then she has more free time, then we can see each other. So I'm like, cool. She was supposed to be done today. So kind of the day I was waiting after Aaron and kind of after her. And eventually, you know, it's like, oh, I'm almost done. Just a little more work and oh, a little more work. And, you know, how projects like that keep getting longer and longer because you always underestimate the amount of time it's going to take. So anyway, eventually she's like, okay, I'm almost done, I'll be done like in an hour, then I'm gonna take a shower and then I'm gonna come over. So I'm like, okay, cool. Since this is gonna be the first time we see each other in three weeks, in my head I'm like, I wanna make sure it's good, so I'm gonna take a pill. So I wait a bit to make sure I don't take it too early because you know, last time I took it too early with Susan ended up being the most embarrassing moment of my entire life. So I'm like, I don't wanna make that happen, mistake again. So I'm gonna wait a bit. So she was like, oh, I'll be there probably around four. So I'm like, okay, cool. I'm going to wait till 3.30 to be sure and then take it. But of course she was late because the project took longer than expected and everything. So by, I think it was around, actually, I don't even know what time it is, but anyway, I think around like four, four fifteen, something like that. She messages me. Well, before she messaged saying, oh, I'm going to take a bath and I'm going to see you. I'm running late. I'll let you know when I'm leaving. So I'm like, cool getting ready and everything. And then she messages me saying like, oh, I just got my period and like, it hits me really hard when it does. And I'm just like in pain and I like can't leave the, the bed. So I'm like, crap, I just took a pill. I have an intense headache. This sucks. Today was crappy. Aaron didn't show up. Wasn't quite sure what was happening with him. Waiting after her all day, only to realize I won't be able to see her. And then I'm like, all right, cool. Let's just record a video sharing this experience, turn on the gimbal to hold the camera and it doesn't work. So I'm like, crap, now it's broken. So it's just like nothing really major happened today, but it's just like a series of crappy things one after the other. And it's not just today. It's more like for the last few days, few weeks of like, all right, I rented an apartment here for a month. So I'm pretty much stuck here for a month. And all the plans that I had set up aren't coming through. So it's like, okay, I've been here for over a week, still haven't met Maggie. Uh, I had another date planned with another girl that I met like a while back for Sunday, but turns out she had to cancel because there were problems with her car. And it's like, 
every like this other girl also we were really like connecting to everything before i left for a week came back she lost complete interest so i'm just like all right it seemed like all the reasons why i came back here are just falling apart and part of me i'm just wondering like okay is this a sign that i shouldn't be here is there meaning to this or is it just all completely random and if there is meaning does it mean i should leave and not stay here or is it just a reminder to have no expectations don't try to plan. Just go with the flow. The whole point of this trip is to release expectations, to release control. And I thought this month would just be a break from the travel and all that. But it turns out that the universe is like, nah, you know what? I'm going to screw up all your plans. <laughs> and I'm just not really sure what to deal with that. So there is no point really to this video aside from sharing what's been going on and how crappy this day has been. So I don't really know what it means. Started working on my book. Oh yeah, that's the other big news. I started writing again. Yesterday, um, no, two days ago, in the evening I was like really excited. I'm like, oh, I feel like writing again. So let's do this. Let's use this time, this month here to spend time working on my sixth book. So I'll write one sentence just be, to get in the flow, but I had to get up early yesterday for the interview. So got all that done yesterday started working on it and everything today just really didn't feel like it and it felt like the end of the writing process like a year and a half ago when i stopped writing because it felt like a chore i'm like i don't feel like working work or writing feels like work feels like a chore i don't want to do this and today i pretty much spent the entire day kind of waiting around and watching tv and feeling bad so i felt like no i should be writing but i'm wasting my time watching tv and i'm like ooh, i don't like this this isn't good so yeah really don't know the point of this i guess just go with the flow experience life even the crappy moments where you have a headache and everything sucks so anyway i hope that wherever you are watching this in the future your day is better than mine so i'm gonna go probably watch tv again now <laughs> but